Hello YouTube. Today I want to show you my new upcoming GPS. And uh, this is the version I'm working with with uh, plugging in my USB adapter and uploading code a million times. And this is how it will look like in the end with the carbon fiber front and uh, you can see the difference in depth because here I'm using female pin headers to plug in the different modules here. They are soldered in place, obviously. And this will get the 3D printed uh, case around it, the frame and then the carbon fiber back. And on the GPS, I might use this version of the carbon fiber back with the keychain hole as I did on my picture viewer that I have on my car still did not finish the frame design yet so this one is just uh, for now to at least have it uh, a little protected and not all the way open and I'm using this like this for a week now on my car keys so the GPS will most likely have the um, keychain back plate so you can put it on your keychain or even on a lanyard like that like from the phones or cameras that you have so that was that so let me show you the code itself um, let me turn it on right now I do have a reception <clears throat> So this is a startup screen and then it says waiting for settled reception till it gets actual reception. It may take a few seconds now since I turned it off. Meanwhile let me show you something else or tell you. Um, this is the logo I have chosen. Most GPS show the satellite uh, logo, but uh, this is not sending anything, this is receiving, so I use the satellite, uh, how you call it, satellite dish as a logo. And the four bars here on top are the battery meter. This one shows 75 to 100%, the second 50 to 75%, the last green shows uh, 25 to 50 percent and the red one is 25 to 0 percent so since i'm inside and have all kinds of electronics running here uh, it does take a little while to get reception if at all uh, i just walked in from the outside with reception and then it kind of keeps running so let me pause the video real quick and get reception and be back. Okay, it's just to, to get outside and get reception and I'm back. Uh, I'm having like three monitors, PC, a router and everything running on my desk. So reception and the router is actually on the same frequency as uh, GPS signals, uh, if I'm correctly. Well, anyway. This is the first screen which shows you obviously the speed since I'm uh, inside I do get drift that's why you see the speed going wild here. Uh, you have also here the cardinal bearings and this is the received satellites and uh, obviously the battery meter and here on the top corner you will see when I touch the sensor it gives an indication and then it switches to the next screen which is a clock this version of the uh, gps code has auto uh, daytime savings savings time detection so once it's set up for your time zone you don't have to worry about setting it for winter time and summer time and obviously the seconds are on the bottom next screen is the date and then i have kind of different logos up there date is uh, pretty self-explanatory uh, you get the battery meter on all screens uh, date uh, will be 
here for European versions we use day first, uh, month second and the year last. Obviously for uh, Imperial version I would put the year on top and then the month and then the date. So that's all uh, possible. Here you have latitude and longitude location. Again you have the satellite dish logo. And the next screen is the altimeter. You have like logo of uh, two Twin Peaks uh, mountains, altitude in meter, imperial will be feet, obviously. And the current last screen is uh, distance to home in kilometers for metric, it will be feet for or miles for the imperial course to home nine degrees and then it tells you turn right turn left veer right veer left go straight or go back oops sorry or go back as you can see here uh, since i don't have full view of satellites uh, it's veering around and so therefore it's uh, telling you different things even though you are not moving and then you have the home logo um, I am working on a version also to be able to reset the location to your current position and then go back to that position and if I do that it will be obviously not home but maybe uh, like a target sign like a round sign with the cross in between something like that and uh, this is practically all the screens and then again you have the first screen uh, the screen switching is actually taken from the canvas code uh, with the help of Rob thank you very much Rob and then if you longer press on here it goes into auto cycle mode and each screen is uh, shown for five seconds on this one actually I might since it's a uh, quite quick to five seconds I might do it uh, 10 seconds or something like that so you have more time to actually view the data and I would also like to incorporate a uh, odometer screen into this which would uh, save your current uh, running uh, odometer and have a trip meter as well so you could reset that and then it could be also a kind of car gauge uh, like my head scan gauge for the car only that uh, you can use it anywhere without any connection to anything because it gets all the data from the satellites so if you want to get out of the uh, cycling screen you just switch to the next screen and then it will stay put again so I did not do the going back uh, screens on this one because it's only few screens so um, that is not the case here uh, right now I'm also not using any NeoPixels which could be technically used in the speed for example as a speed warning or altitude warning or something like that but for that I would have to switch from the 328 that this uh, PCB is running off it's the yellow PCB do I have an empty one here? no I don't um, switch to the 1284 then I would have a uh, room for many many more options and don't have to do tricks with the bitmaps that i have been doing for the frame here because this frame was initially just a single bitmap but of course that takes too much room for the 328 so it would not work uh, actually it would, would work just as a bitmap but uh, as soon as i add libraries there is not enough space so this bitmap is practically uh, the bottom piece is one bitmap the top right piece is a bitmap with the battery indicator and of course the battery indicators itself are bitmaps as well and then I have this uh, corner piece as a bitmap and those lines going down on the left and right uh, here the left and right and the short one on the top are actually lines drawn on the display and also this uh, three lines here is also a bitmap 
which I will replace with lines as well to get me some a little more room uh, on this version of the code. Uh, if I, as I say, use the 1284, it will have uh, much more room on there to add all kinds of features. Actually, the GPS module I'm using here, the PCB, does have a micro SD card slot, which you can see here and uh, also here. But since it's recessed into the case, it would be next to impossible. Uh, it is impossible to reach from the outside unless you take the back piece off, take the frame off, and then get to the um, micro SD card. So I will most likely 99% design a PCB new PCB with the micro SD card on the edge of the PCB so it could be uh, access it will be accessible from the outside and then I will add uh, GPS uh, logging capability as well it might be different code I don't know if I'm gonna put everything into one code um, but uh, that's the future plans current future plans but this is it for now and i will put this up on tindy as soon as i can and if you're interested and want to get it uh, faster then you can get in touch with me directly and uh, i can build it for you i will work on the 3d frame design today most likely or tomorrow so i will have that and then it's uh, finished it also has obviously an LDR sensor for screen dimming. It's not very obvious here, but uh, it does dim the screen and in total darkness, it goes way down. So you get always the best contrast ratio because obviously if it would be this bright in the dark, you would have bleed through on the black color. It's like uh, it's not like an old OLED display that is either on or off. Uh, but then again, OLED is black and white, and the color ones have like pixels this big, and they don't look nice. So this is a since it's an IPS display, it has very good viewing angles as you can see, and uh, it is uh, it looks much better in real life than in any picture or video that I put up here and um, yeah this is it so this is my new upcoming GPS and it will replace the OLED uh, GPS cube that I used to have because I'm getting uh, away from OLED displays as they do suffer in quality lately and I can't get any consistent OLEDs no more and since the color version is so much better nicer with a higher resolution and for anybody that wants the best contrast ra contrast ratio I could technically make this in black and white and uh, then you will get all, almost the same contrast ratio as of an OLED display but anyway, this is it. Um, if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below the description. My links to the store and to my PayPal and to my Patreon page and to my Banggood affiliate links are below the description. Do not miss that. And thank you everybody that is supporting me. Either morally or financially or by helping with the questions I have about codes like Rob does all the time every time and I'm very very grateful to him and uh, Yes, this is it. So thanks for watching and take care everybody